Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import all the Character Creator 3 morph into Character Creator 4 as a new version of the software. And this is a pipeline tutorial. You can see in your previous Character Creator 3, you already have some of the purchase morph and now in Character Creator 4, you should be able to, to go and re-download again and let it show but sometimes if it don't show, I'm going to show you step by step how are you going to let it show. And also it included your custom morph that created by you that you already save it in your Character Creator 3 custom. But how are you going to bring it into CC4 Character Creator 4? Alright, now I'm going to open the Character Creator 3 first and let's have a look. In Character Creator 3, Let's open it. Now, Character Creator 3 already opened. You can just, just look at your morph. And actually some of some of these are my custom morph. And it is also shown at here, the Character Creator 3 CC3. But actually, where are the locations? Now, let's have a look. You can just scroll down, go to my video descriptions. Just have a look. Actually, your character creator tree custom morph location is at here. You see user public document revolution custom character creator tree custom avatar control or under this folder. And some of the purchase the purchase content for character creator tree actually you already installed by using the smart gallery. And actually all the morph are here. The C user public document revolution template character creator three template avatar control. You copy and paste this. Click into your file explorer. See, this is this is the one. It is at here. For character creator three, all the template are under this folder. By using the smart gallery already installed here. So Character Creator 4, you also need to use the smart content to download everything. Both must be as is. Right. So if you ignore the Character Creator 3 CC3, then the morph at CC4 may not be shown properly in the folder. Now, and finally is the avatar control, that is the custom morph. Custom morph is set here, C user public documents. Revolution custom, character creator tree custom under the avatar control folder. Alright, so now I open my character creator 4. Now this is a CC4. Let me open first. For the character creator 4, all the template morph morph are at different folder that is C user public document revolution revolution template. This is different name. From the previous one, previous one is a template. Here is Revolution template. It is at the same main folder, Revolution folder, then under Revolution template, actor avatar control. So now, in your character creator four, now I'm going to load the neutral base. All right. After finish load the neutral base, you can just have a look. This, these are all the more, and this is Character Creator 4, actually where, where I had installed all this. Actually it's at here, Smart Content, under the Templates, the Pack, here you have to filter the, the Morph. It should be under Actor, the Morph, all of this Morph I already installed by using the Smart Content in Character Creator 4. At the same time, in your Character Creator 3, you need to install all the Morph. And you, you compare these two folder. All your purchase contents must both, both already install at both sides. So that in character creator for, it will show, show the folder. For example, the twin figures. All right. If you don't install it in your character creator tree, it won't categorize it in the folder. However, you still can find your morph, but it is under, under here. So both you must install. That's why I say, you have to install at both sides, CC3 and CC4. And then now you can see my avatar control, this 
this is the character creator tree. Check my CC tree. All of this, like Mandarin words, these are all, all the, the custom morph. It is not yet appear in my character creator 4. So how am I going to, to import it? It is very easy. First, just close your CC4, close it. And you copy from this folder. It is under C user public document revolution custom character creator tree custom. This is the this is the custom folder. Wait. This is a custom folder. Just remember this. Revolution custom character creator tree custom avatar control. Copy everything into here. So C user public document revolution revolution custom. Actor, avatar control. So copy everything. Control A. Control A to select all. Control C to copy and paste it here. Control V. It just takes a few seconds. Everything ready here. Now I'm going to open the correct to create a four. The CC4. And let's have a check. Is that all the custom morph already in imported into CC4? Let's have a look. Alright, now character creator 4 already loaded first. Of course, you cannot check the morph at here. You have to go to the modified here. You have to go to the modified and load the neutral base first. At least load a CC avatar. So now, let's have a load. Now, the CC, the CC base avatar already loaded. Let's check the morph. This is the character creator 4. You can see all my previous custom morph in in character creator tree already imported. For example, some of my female teen young. All right, so everything done. All right, so all my previous morph already successfully imported, and. And that's all for today about how to import all the more from your previous version character creator 3 into CC4 included the purchase morph and also included your own custom morph. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy animation and game developing. See you!